Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel and today is my Disneyland Paris haul video. This is from my Halloween trip to Disneyland Paris. Now I thought I didn't come back with too much but I kind of have this and there's another bag emptied onto the floor next to me so uh, maybe, maybe I bought a little bit too much. But um, yeah, I'm not going to chit chat in front of the video or at the start should I say, I'm just going to get on with it. Um, so let's get started. Now, the first things I got, I'm going to show you, are stuff for friends and, of course, the freebies that you get. So the first things are the freebies. So <laughs> I stayed in Newport Bay Compass Club, which was amazing. And we got shower gel, if it will probably not focus. Um, body balm. And shampoo. Now, I'm pretty sure there was a conditioner. Not quite sure where that's gone. Mitch probably took it, because he took everything else in the room as well. Um, from the Compass Club, tea bags. Now, I don't even drink tea, so my friends will be getting these. And they're in little silk tea bags. Wow. Just saying. Okay, now I'm finished with the freebies, I'll move on to the little bits and pieces that I got for a few of my friends. Now, first things first is this. Now, this is Ross from Monsters, Inc. And this technically wasn't bought by me. Katie, my friend, gave me some money and I got her this because she had all the other Sumsums that were at Disneyland Paris. So, yeah, Ross. $5.99. <clears throat> Next up for Nathan, my significant other, we have Captain America, if I can hold it properly. Captain America key ring. Pretty nice. That was six ninety nine, along with some goofy sweets, and these are oh, two ninety nine. I think these are fizzy crocodiles. <clears throat> Lisa again. Now you will see a theme as these go along. A key ring for Lisa. Lisa loves Cinderella, and these are adorable. They even had villains version of these as well. They had Hook and Cruella de Vil are the only ones I saw, but yeah. Cinderella that was of course six ninety nine, and Lisa also bought. Some sweeties. These are kind of scary looking teddy bears. They don't look like normal candy bears. They're quite terrifying. Two ninety nine again. Laura got a bell key ring. Now Laura's favorite princess is Jasmine, and I always say that no one cares about Jasmine, which is why they don't have any Jasmine merchandise. And they didn't have Jasmine, so I was right. But she got Bell, and Bell's really pretty anyway. Um, so that was of course six ninety nine. This time, no sweets for Laura. Laura got. Halloween pasta, and this was two ninety nine. Now, hopefully, I'll have given these things out before they see this video because I highly doubt they're going to watch the video anyway. And finally, Shannon. Now, Shannon got. Oh, I just dropped it. A key ring. Oh, back to front. Stitch. The cutest, most adorable thing ever. Shannon loves Stitch, so I got her Stitch. This was, of course, six ninety nine. There's the back of them that you already saw. She got Halloween pasta too. Um, which is actually in the shape of Mickey heads. There's Scrooge McDuck in there. There's Minnie Mouse and pumpkins. Wow, I never actually looked at this properly before. There's Daisy Duck there too. And finally, this. Now this is not for Shannon herself to wear. This is for Shannon's baby. <laughs> now, at the moment, the gender of the baby is not known. So I figured this was quite gender neutral, so I got this. This was, uh, Shannon, close your ears. In fact, Fergie, because he subscribed to me. Uh, $12.99. <laughs> Cute little Dumbo, and it actually does say Disneyland Paris on it somewhere down there. And if you can hear any noises in the background, it is my cat playing with one of the big Disneyland Paris bags because one cat is inside of it and the other cat is attacking the top of it. So that's what you can hear. So basically, that's all I got for my friends, and all this is for me. Now we go on to all of the bits and pieces that I got myself. So, the most expensive thing that I bought on this trip was my annual pass. Now, this doesn't include all of the paperwork that I've seen everyone else's have. This includes, oh, another freebie, a coaster from the hotel, paper. Um, it just includes this piece of paper and that's it. That's all I got inside mine. So I was quite disappointed with that. I expected more. But um, yeah, it was 200 euros. And the reason I got it was I was added on as room only and Mitch has an annual pass. 
so the room did not include park tickets, and the price of this was not much more than the four-day park ticket that I was going to need anyway. So yes, that was that. <clears throat> Next up is all these sort of trinkets and little bits and bobs I got. First up was this sort of coins slash keys tray. This was $3.99 and I love this design. It's just so bright and colourful. Features so many characters. You've got Dumbo, the three fairies, um, Aladdin and Jasmine, I believe. Yeah, it's got some princesses. You've got Jafar, Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain. It's just, yeah, it's just adorable. Cuteness Overload, Chippendale. Love it. That was $3.99. This bag was also $3.99. Now, I'm not going to open it out because I'll never get it back in looking like this again. But this was $3.99 as well. And it also has a hook here that you can hook on to something. But yeah, that was $3.99 too. And then I got a keyring for myself. I only got myself one keyring, and that was this. Oh, if it'll face the right way. This Mickey keyring. It says Disneyland Paris on the bottom. And it's Mickey at the Eiffel Tower. I love it. And that was. $5.99. Next up are the magnets I got. Now normally I buy three magnets a trip because that's been my tradition, but this trip I kind of <clears throat> got five problems. So the first one was this castle one because I really wanted one of the castle and this is $5.99 this one. I think this was the dearest magnet I saw. Um, the next one I got matches the keys coin tray and this was $4.99. It features Phantom Manor hidden on there somewhere, Big Thunder, the castle, balloons, and of course some characters. This one was $4.99. I then got myself a Christmas magnet because, yeah, why not? Christmas is magical at Disney and this is just beautiful. $3.99. And then I got myself these two. <clears throat> and these basically are the same as the key rings and Stitch was $4.99. And Sven, Complete Cuteness Overload, also $4.99. Next up, I got an autograph book. Now, this was $7.99. I wanted a different autograph book. I wanted the autograph book that's holographic and contains spaces for photos, and I couldn't really find it, so I ended up just settling for this one. Kind of disappointed, because I got this one in February. Then I got pens. Now, the pen I got with the autograph book actually burst after a day, so I was quite sad. Um, and in the hotel on the last night, I got this one, which has all the different names of the hotels on it, apart from the Disneyland Hotel. So it says like Santa Fe, there's Newport Bay, it's all different angles. We've got New York, Sequoia Lodge, Cheyenne's up here. Yeah, even Davy Crockett Ranch is on here, but not the Disneyland Hotel, which is really confusing. Hmm. But that was three ninety nine for that pen. I then got this pack of six which was $11.99, which actually works out with just two euros a pen, so that's actually quite cheap. They say Disneyland Paris on here on the side. And we've got Mickey with the castle, we've got Donald on Space Mountain, Goofy on Indiana Jones, Goofy as Bellhop Goofy for Tower... Uh, oh no, it's not right. Oh, Goofy as Phantom Manor Guy. Mini at the carousel and Stitch is Tower of Terror. And they are so cute. Next up is pins. But first of all, I got a lanyard for my pins. Now the lanyard, I'm actually not really gonna wear. It's more just for display. And I really sort of was a bit undecisive about which lanyard to get. And I settled for the Dreams one because I'm not gonna be back before Dreams finishes because obviously they're changing it to Disney's Illuminate for the 25th. So we've got the castle at the top, followed by Lumiere, Rapunzel, Simba, Tinkerbell, and Dr. Facili at the bottom. And it says Disneyland Paris on here. And it's got some information about pin trading on the back. And obviously that detaches if you want to detach it. And the lanyard was 9.99. Now I got four pins, not gonna lie, the pin selection was pretty terrible at Disneyland Paris this year. It just wasn't very good. I got the Disney Hotels one. Now this is obviously exclusive to Disneyland Paris. This basically just matches the um, pen that I got and obviously features all the different hotels on it. And this one was $8.99, that was blue. Then I got Belle. She was my dearest pin at $8.99. No, that's wrong. 
Belle was seven ninety nine, I think. I think orange is seven ninety nine. But Belle's my favourite, so I got Belle. Uh, then I got the castle, and this was the cheapest one. This was seven, no, six ninety nine. Oh, I'm all wrong with the prices today. And finally, the very elusive Newport Bay hotel pin, because I stayed here. Um, yeah, it's adorable. It's got Donald on it, and the little lighthouse that's in the lake, or just to the side of the lake. And yeah, this is my second hotel pin, and this one was also eight ninety nine. So I'm just going to refresh that. Green is the cheapest, six ninety nine. Orange is seven ninety nine, and blue is eight ninety nine. I hope to God I got that right. I definitely know blue's the cheapest. Now next up, I got a t-shirt. Now this was an expensive t-shirt, but this was a must because it says, never grow up, go to Disneyland Paris, and it's got Peter Pan on it. And this was $25.99. I said it was expensive. Now I got extra, extra large, and it does not feel like an extra, extra large at all. It feels more like a large. I get them big and baggy because I sleep in them. So yes, that was that one. Next up, we move on to my sort of soft toys of my trip. I only got two. So I got Shelly Mae. She's the only Tsum Tsum I got because I didn't want any of the others or I already had them. And she's adorable. She used to go with Duffy and she is just the cutest thing ever. Five ninety nine for her. And the plush I never got the last time, but I decided to get him this time was Remy. He's just adorable, adorable. So yeah, that's Remy, um, $22.99 for him. I almost bought a copper plush from Fox and the Hound. I did not know they existed and it was the cutest thing in the world. But I just, yeah, I think one is enough per trip. But definitely check the eyes when you're buying them because one of the Remy's looked like he was looking at me and then one I was darted over that side. Check the eyes, all the eyes are different. But yes, he is adorable with his cute tail and everything. And he's so soft. I love him. Okay, so now on to the Christmas things. Because this video has a Christmas section. The first decoration I got was this lovely ceramic castle one with two stars on it. This is adorable. I love it. It's so simple. Um, very, very simple Disney. And this was $7.99. The next one I got was also $7.99. And that was this one. Um, this has a lovely bow on the front with Mickey and Minnie, and it's got the it's got Main Street and the big tree on it. And of course, this one is very special because it lights up, and I love it so much. And I can't believe this one was seven ninety nine. To me, it should be dearer, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I've seen this next set in many a haul video, and that is of course these. These are just amazing. Also, I think very subtle again. So you've got Mickey and basically just Mickey heads um, as wreaths. Well, this one's a wreath and this one's candy canes. And these were twelve ninety nine for the two, which I think was really good as well. And finally, the most sort of delicate one to get home was this adorable Chippendale one. I absolutely love this Chippendale one. I think it's amazing. They're basically just playing with some acorns and I love it. And this one was $9.99. So really the Christmas decorations weren't all that expensive. Really, really happy with those. That was all the decorations slash baubles I got. And onto the only mug of the video, <laughs> just the one, it's the Christmas mug. This was the only way I could sort of say that I could really justify buying a mug was getting the Christmas one. Um, it's got so many characters on it, it's unreal. So we've got Stitch, an angel building a snowman. You've got the mice from Cinderella. You've got Donald, you've got Daisy. Yep, you've got Chip and Dale. There's Remy and Emile. There's uh, so many characters on this mug, it's unreal. This is just, you know, Paris across the bottom. Chip and Dale, Main Street. Just incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'll try and show slowly. Amazing, 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 and 
inside it says Joy Noel, which I probably said wrong, but I love it. And this was twelve ninety nine. Now the mug section has slightly led on to sort of a little homeware type section. So the first up is a cat bowl. I have two cats. I already have one of these bowls, so I decided to buy another one. This was seven ninety nine. Not a bad price because the first one I've got is almost four years old now, and it still looks just as good as new like this. So we've got just Disney cats all the way around it. We've got Cheshire cat, obviously. I don't know who this is. We've got Toulouse and Berlioz. I don't know which one they go, which way around. We've got Sai and Dam. Cats down them. You've got Marie as well. <laughs> really, I want them to have Figaro, but they don't. But it's a really nice deep bowl, so I love it. Next up is a bowl for myself, a stitch bowl. I've never bought a bowl from Disneyland Paris before, but I saw it and was like, it's the cutest thing in the world, I have to get it. So it's just got basically sort of maybe Hawaiian print on it. And it says Disneyland Paris on the back. It's also a big bowl and this was 9 99 So I love it. The final homeware item is this big jar and it's really quite big because I've got quite a big head and yeah it's really big and this was 9 99 and it was such good value for money because they had a Ratatouille version which was about 16 or 17 for the same size just a different print and I've got the placemat of this and also the glass of this already so it just made sense so yeah that's going to sit out and I'm just going to put some pasta in it and sit it on the top to have some Disney in my kitchen so that was the second last item, wow. So we're on to the last item, which, yeah, I love this. This was so stunning, so pretty. Never seen this in my life before, and I just had to get it. And it was this Belle and Beast figurine. It was 19 99 but the detail is incredible. Just definitely, definitely check the faces. Um, I ended up getting this one in the Emporium. The ones in Harrington's, the faces were a little bit off. It was always Belle. Beast always looked a hell of a lot better. But just stunning and incredible. Just all over, just love it. So, yeah, that's it. That was 19.99. That is my Disneyland Paris haul video. That is it. It's done. So... I hope you enjoyed what I bought. Tell me what was your favourite item from this haul. Um, yeah, give a big thumbs up if you liked it. Click subscribe if you want to see more of this face. And yeah, comment down below as well. So thank you very much for watching and until next time. Bye for now, guys.